It was at 3.20 this morning, Richmond, Sydney Stack, and Callum Coleman-Jones had just been evicted from the Hollywood Showgirls strip club. Despite looking a little weary, their night wasn't over, with the pair stopping for kebabs next door. It was outside kebab zone, another male approached Coleman-Jones and appeared to strike him in the face before all hell broke loose. But while the Tigers were later arrested, that was the least of their worries. Both suspended for 10 matches for breaching the AFL's strict quarantine protocols. For the past month, it's been Elijah Taylor's off-field antics that have stolen the spotlight. The rising star first getting into trouble for a quarantine breach. Then on Sunday, he was arrested outside a Langford home over allegations he bashed a young woman at a Perth City hotel. He was then charged with aggravated assault. This morning, the Swans announced the decision to stand him down effective immediately. A fallen eagle free once again. That... Ben, do you have anything you want to say at all? dishevelled after spending a night behind bars. This time the 38 year olds charged with possessing meth and twice breaching a violence restraining order. Strangers still keen to offer support. Chin up mate. Yeah. All right. Happy New Year mate. We get up to last night. It wasn't the way Brendan Favola wanted to start the new year, leaving the Brisbane Watch House in disgrace. The AFL star was charged with public nuisance and obstructing police in Brisbane's Fortitude Valley at 4.30 this morning. Arresting people is certainly not our first resort. We would far rather negotiate with people get them to a chill out zone or convince them just to move on. Today, as Seven News revealed exclusively this afternoon, the playing future of Wayne Carey is in doubt tonight. It may well be over, Jim, following a three hour crisis meeting this afternoon that can equate to probably the biggest meeting in the history of the Kangaroos Football Club. I regret the circumstances of my actions, which has led to the decision and the pain it has caused to my wife and my family. I apologise to all my teammates and all the kangaroo supporters. However, I believe this is the only proper and responsible course of action. I thought, <laughs> actually, when I was... Oh, he oh, just oh, whacked oh, the umpire. Oh, hey! Oh, no! That's unbelievable! Oh, boy. Well, that's, this is sensational. That, the umpire has gone down. Now, there are a number of others coming up to talk to him. Surely we've got to get the Collingwood runner out here and uh, get him off the ground for a spell. Oh, he whacked oh, he's, there. You just, oh, oh, oh look, he's going to punch the fellow out of the in the now. stand. He's into someone in the stand. Oh, he's give him one too. Do you think you're hard what happens right? now, John? Now I was suspended from 22 to 28 years of age, so it's six years of my prime football career. So I think that was probably enough. Troubled footballer Harley Bennell says the shame on his family was his number one concern when photos surfaced of him in a hotel room with lines of drugs. Just days before the Suns season opener, the damning shots emerged publicly three weeks ago. It really didn't hit me until a couple of days or about a week later. I just had to put my hand up and take responsibility of my actions. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry for that. Bennell has a controversial history. He's been in trouble twice for breaching team alcohol rules. A pack like none he'd seen before greeted Liam Jarrah as he left Alice Springs Magistrates Court. Uh, no comment, no comment at this time. Thank you. Bailed on $3,000 surety, he's been charged along with another man over a machete attack that's left a rival tribal member with serious head injuries. The Melbourne Football Club flew one of its player welfare officials to Alice Springs as soon as it learned of Jarrah's arrest. Ordered not to return to Alice Springs until his next court appearance in May match against St Kilda that the highly volatile Phil Carman clashed with boundary umpire Graham Carberry. Carman was reported in this incident for headbutting and striking boundary umpire Carberry and was also reported for striking St Kilda skipper Gary Sidebottom. Carman was found guilty of striking Sidebottom and headbutting Carberry and was suspended for 20 matches, the heaviest penalty since the war. Well I'll be probably away from the club for a week and uh, just to have a bit of time off and then I'll be back to commence training.